Game six, almost halfway there. Um, then we got a little halftime and then finish up the last six games of the season. So, um, excited to see how our guys rebound from last week. Um, you know, obviously, you know, still uh, as a coach, uh, you know, not happy about uh, last weekend. And, um, you know, I can't wait to watch our guys go play and, and see what they've got. Pat, a couple of your players talked about how they saw more from Keaton this week in practice. He seemed more intense or more driven. Would you agree with that? Not really. It's kind of the same team I see every day, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't see anything, you know, um, no. Okay. Can see different stuff. So who knows? Pat, as, as a play caller and, and from a quarterback's perspective, you want to get the ball out quickly. But sometimes that leads to five yard gains. But if you sit back in a pocket, you can throw deeper, but you could also get sacked more often. How, how do, what's the fine line you got to walk there? You know, um, you got to do a little bit of both. Um, and, uh, you know, you, for deeper balls, you got, you know, max protection, you got more guys staying in to protect uh, normally. And then um, for a short game, I mean, you can go empty and get the ball out quick if you want to. Um, but you got to protect them. You know, you know, we got five to protect. so. Um, you know, it's a, there's a fine line, I and mean, that's why you don't all do the same thing. I mean, you can't just do the same thing every snap. You can't just go three step but it'll sit on your routes, and you can't just, you know, uh, drop back and try to max protect and chuck it deep all the time. So um, that's why people go to RPOs, which is kind of like the new three step. It's, the key is for the quarterback to process the secondary, what's happening in the secondary, quicker, quickly. Kenny was really good at that. Yeah, Kenny was really good. I think Keaton's really good too. So just, you know, um, we'll, we'll find out. So what's the challenge in defending that? Because it looks like Virginia Tech does like to get the ball out quickly. Virginia Tech gets the ball out really quick, um, and um, you know, which can be you know good for us, good for them. I mean, a little bit of both. Uh, you hope you know you're not going to get as many sacks. I think they've given up maybe nine on the year, six or nine, somewhere between six and nine. They haven't given up many sacks uh, or pressures, but they're getting the ball out, and he takes off and runs uh, as well. So um, you know, you got to play ball. Doesn't matter what they do. Everybody does a little bit of everything. You're not going to just see one thing. But they do uh, get the ball out quick. To build off of Jerry's question a little bit, you, you, you've talked about um, taking what the defense gives you. How do you kind of balance that with also trying to be the aggressor and like kind of maybe forcing the little balls down the field? You can force them, um, but you know, force is a bad word. Right? Yeah, 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 I guess that was a bad, I mean, uh, bad question there. It's a bad thing. I mean, that's usually, you know, oh man, you forced it Not in there. Not force, but like kind of like. You I, can be the aggressor, but again, that gets you in trouble too, because it's like you're forcing into something that's not there. So, um, you know, I think that's, you know, you're playing with fire a little bit there, Pat, personally. Pat, I mean, you've often talked about when the defense struggles, it's guys not trusting each other and trying to do too much and stepping outside of the roles. Where do you feel this defense? Hey, Illinois is what you're playing. What is that? Oh, it's Illinois. Oh, it's Illinois. It's Illinois. It's Illinois with the colors. No. I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, Sorry I ruined my nod though. I thought you were coming with Illinois question. Where'd that come from? Oh, but anyway, what I was getting to was obviously you talk about how guys will step out of their roles trying to help in situations that they shouldn't be helping in. Where do you feel your defense is when it comes to that challenge and avoiding that, especially against a quick team? Yeah, I think, you know, more of that stuff happened on, on our special teams last week where our guys are trying their tails off to go make a play. But on defense, you know, I think it, you know, um, when I look at it, I mean, we've been probably pretty good with, with you know, trying to do our jobs. I mean, on the la I'll go back to the last run of the game, and I know someone asked me earlier in the week about one of these runs, I don't know if it's Jerry, I'm like, I don't know which one. The one that really sticks with me when they lined up at 12 personnel and they ran the ball, and, and it should have never got to the safety. Um, and again, I'm not throwing anybody on the bus, but one of our linebackers, all he did was read key like he does all the time. And, and you know, it's like, why in that one play did you go, go the wrong way? All you gotta do is go the wrong play. You know, you, one guy doesn't go the right way, you got problems. That's the one really stands out to me. Um, and then there's just little details where they're doing the right thing, but they're not doing it great. Like Big Alley had a tackle, uh, missed tackle on their sideline, uh, you know, but he's running with this guy, he knows who he's got, and then he's like, let me peek back into the <coughs> Those little tiny details will get you beat. But it's not like, but it's, you know, everybody wants to go look at the quarterback, right? Let me see if he's going to throw it this way or not. That, you know, it's like, as soon as you do that, you're done. You know? And then that's why you miss the tackle, because you're a step late, and you're usually not a step late if you, you know, you just don't delay that much. So, we talked to, your question. We talked to Gavin and Jared this week, and they talked about uh, hyper-focus on those same details. You talked about the defense, but 
also on the offensive side, did you feel that there was more of an intense focus on those details this week? I think so. I mean, uh, but they, they're, they're, we focus on them every week. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes it's mindset. I don't know. I don't, you know. I, I don't, we, we don't change how we coach weekly and all of a sudden, hey, let's, let's, hey, let's not turn the ball over this week. Let's, let's focus on ball security. No, we talk ball security every single day um, and, and work on it. So, I mean, you know, from ball security to, you know, pass protection to reading your keys, we do it every day and there's no focus. There's no days where we go, let's not focus on that today. Let's just let it go. Um, so maybe it was more focused for them, you know. They felt like there was more of a focus. Well, there should be. We, you know, we preach it, but you gotta do it too. You were down. We gotta do a better job as coaching it. You were down two uh, running backs in the second half last week. How comfortable are you going in this week if it has to be Vince and Zebo? Um, you know, I'm comfortable unless it goes down to one. Then I'm not so comfortable. We got Daniel Carter over there too. So, um, yeah, but you know, that's kind of the 2022 season so far for us at least. Um, you know, is, is, is injuries and, and stepping up. We've had that the entire year, um, and we're continuing to uh, to battle that. What has the response been uh, in practice this week? Has, it, has the team seen any hungrier than they were? I think so. I mean, I thought they were hungry last week, though, man. So, I mean, you know, it would be a mind reader. But, no, I think they've, they've had great energy this week, period. So they're ready to go. But, you know, you got to go out and take it, too. You know, it's like I told them after practice today, no one's going to give you a game. They're all – we went through some battles last year, too, didn't we? We didn't, like every game wasn't 50, you know, we had Kenny Pickett and, you know, we, we didn't win every game 52 to 7, you know. I mean, nobody's going to give you a game. These are all hard games. You're not going to, like, for anybody to think that you're going to walk in and beat a Georgia Tech or a Virginia Tech just because you showed up in Acrisure Stadium, you're, you're crazy. That ain't going to happen, you know. And uh, you can never think that. I know, you know, I worry about everybody. Gavin used the term yesterday, ticked off. Did you oh, good. I didn't say I won't hear all these. Did you, he doesn't tell me anything. Did, did you notice? Get all kinds of guys must have got some good interviews this week. Wasn't bad. I didn't notice any more ticked off than normal. Yeah. So and they, they were ticked off the week before it. too. They were. I'm asking. Were they were. I don't even know. You know. And there's and there's the sad. kids are different than the coaches. I mean, let's face it. Like I, you know, I didn't see them more ticked off this week than they were last week or the week before. Um, so. Were you more ticked off? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? That. What does that mean when you're more kicked off? Um, what does it mean? What happens? I'm a little grumpier. Yeah? Yeah. A little Pat, grumpier here. Gavin and Jared talked about starting fast to defeat those refocused and then how can they do that and what kind of prevented them from doing that over the past couple weeks? Was... You know, uh, my number one key to victory last week, I, I, every week I got four or five keys to victory. The number one was start fast. Okay, I'm, I must be a dummy, okay? I could pull it out. I could have RJ go get it. And honest to God, it was start fast and be plus in the turnover ratio. Okay, we didn't do either one of them, so we we can start fast every. I mean, that's our we're supposed to start fast, right? I mean, um, you know, we can talk about it. We got to go do it, and you know, uh, we can tell them what to do. We have to go. We got to go execute. And we got to make plays, and we got to play fit football. That's what it comes down to, you know. Um, but I don't answer your question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, just is there anything that you guys can do differently to make that possible? You know. Um, no, you got to go execute. I mean, that's what we do every day is, is practice to execute those plays properly. And we got to, you know, again, you know, there's two plays I showed the team last week, okay? Two teams, you know, two plays I showed the team. Just, you know, we watch it all offense. We watch the defense. I just stuck the first two plays up from the game on offense and defense. First play on defense was an opportunity. to played perfect. Everybody is perfect, okay? And, you know, we, we, we got an interception for a touchdown. That's start fast, right? Okay, that's how you start fast. Your interception for a touchdown. You know, it's probably a totally different outcome. And and then the first play on offense, you know, team gets hit. There's a guy free through the line of scrimmage because we have a lineman who goes the wrong way, and he can't see him because there are two big white jerseys in his way, and he can't see. There's a guy wide open where Jeff ha Jeff is there, and we can't find him. And then we we drop the next play. We drop a pass. So that's not starting fast. I don't know what else we can do except give them opportunities to get open, opportunities to make plays on the ball. And then they got to go finish, and we will, you know. But uh, you know, starting fast is critical, and making plays is critical. We can start slow, just make plays slowly. And on the offensive side of the ball, you guys talked a lot about, you know, again, taking what the defense gives you. But do you script plays at all to start that to start games? On like, offense, you said? Yeah, uh, and like you know, help get you into that rhythm earlier. Yeah, you do. You know, most offenses do. I'm not going to get into what we do, how we do it, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you got a guy wide open back there, like, yeah, you script plays to think what we're going to get. But you're, you know, you're not always right. We know 
what our first play of the game is. We know what we're doing defensively. Um, you know, we script a lot of different things. Ben, you have, you have a lot of guys that you would call by at least the eagle category, category with mm -hmm. leaders that you've been around. But are there like one or two guys? Like in the past, you've had Jamar, you've had Kenny, you've had those guys that everyone kind of can kind of rally behind. Are there guys that you look to and say like, hey, this is the guy that gets everyone going? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, you know, because you know you're always looking at who are your leaders. You know, who are your coaches? Uh, why are you laughing over here? I'm saying good question. Good question. Is that, good is that question? the only time a question? <laughs> yeah, good question. Uh, but um, but uh, you know, there, there's always guys we're looking for those. I mean, I think Survive Me Dennis is one of them. Uh, I think Keaton Slopes is, is is growing with that. You know, I mean, just even in our we have an Eagles meeting every Friday morning in here. You know, where you guys are privileged enough to come in. We have an Eagles meeting. I asked him a bunch of tough questions in there. And, and Keaton brought up some great points today. I was like, ooh, you know, it's just that, but every, you know, if I think they're great points, I know everybody else in that room is going, ooh. And then you got young guys that are freshmen that are learning from those guys. But I would say Keaton, you know, Carter Warren, um, you know, I said Sebastian. Um, those are the guys that stand out right now that are just stepping up, you know, but we need more of that too. I mean, you missed Kenny Pickett was a, you know, he's a leader now. I mean, he's, you know, nobody says anything at halftime. It's me, and I'm waiting for someone to step up. We'll, we'll find out. But that was nice when Kenny would say, "Hey, let's go." Or so somebody's follow on Chris's thing. That's what I was going to ask. Are these leaders that you mentioned are they vocal, or is it by just example right now? And you're looking for more vocal. A little bit of both. You know, a little bit of both. What were some of those good points that Keaton brought up? Can't tell you. God, it's an Eagles meeting. <laughs> I don't think it's that big secret, you know, is it? <laughs> it's gonna, it's Jerry, gonna, you don't know what it is. It's going to affect the outcome Maybe of the Maybe they game. were talking about you, Jerry. Maybe we, you know. Sure. Uh, they talking about me. I hope you would tell me. One that. of the things we're talking. <laughs> one of the things we're discussing is starting fast. To your question, it was interesting. Um, but you know, in, I'm trying to think what the other one was. In the other one, I can't really talk about. So, well, speaking of Kenny Pickett, I wanted to ask you about. He's about to make his first NFL start. Long odds, actually, the greatest odds in the Super Bowl era for the Steelers. Similarly, his first college start was a pretty big upset as well. What do you remember about that first college start, just Kenny's demeanor leading up to it? Yeah, um, you know, Kenny's um, very composed, I think, uh, but intense at the same time. Um, you know, I had a chance, my kids DVR the, the game the other day, just go back and watch and how he, you know, he's not phased by anything. I mean, he got whacked that one play where he threw it over the middle. I mean, he, and he got up and, and I asked him, I said, hey, what, did you, what did you say to me? Because he just kind of laughed. He goes, I don't remember. You know, he always wish he remembered. Uh, but that's Kenny. He's not going to be phased by, I don't think anything is going to get in his head about, you know, what's going on this weekend. And uh, we wish, you know, them and the Steelers, you know, all the luck up there in Buffalo. But, you know, we have an open week next week. So Sunday, I get to watch that game. I'm fired up. How about this? I had a couple more. Kev, I had two right. questions about Kenny. Sure. Um, when Just Kenny, Kenny, Con yeah. Kenny Conference. Uh, uh, what did you see in him when he was in high school that made you want to recruit him? You know, uh, someone asked me that question yesterday, I think, or somewhere. Um, you know, we love all of our players, right? Sometimes we, you know, we get lucky, and sometimes.